We heard some talk about other weapons in the home. Yes, ma'am. You heard specifically the defendant say that um, there was another gun. Let me back up. We'll get to that in a minute. Did you find other ammunition in the residence? Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, explain that. Well, there was a closet with a bunch of ammo in it. There was ammo on the table that was photographed as well. Um, also, in the other room, there was more ammunition and, okay. and guns as well. Why would you have not taken that? Because Ms. Schubert told us that what gun that she had used and where she had placed it, and the cartridges that were laying on the, sorry, the shell cases that were laying on the ground matched the item that was fired from. So at this point in time, with having access to not just her statement, but this as well, you know what it was that you were looking for. Yes, ma'am. You knew what um, caliber weapon yes, was being used. Unloaded. Yes, sir, it is. My hand's in front of the barrel as well, sir. And could you identify what that item is? It's the handgun that's depicted in that picture right okay. there. Okay. There are some other items contained within that box, isn't that correct? Yes, ma'am. What are they? Um, that is the magazine, which is right here, which was in the gun, at the bottom of the gun, you can see it, the bottom metal part, and then this bullet was in the chamber of the gun. Okay. Um, explain that. There was a bullet in the chamber okay. of the gun. This part is considered the chamber of the weapon, okay? Um, when the magazine is inserted and there's bullets in there, after they're fired or expelled, this is a semi-automatic, so the shell casings would come out, and the next one would come up in there. So, so what does that mean in layperson's terms? So if, if you're shooting this, if you shoot six rounds and there's seven rounds in here, then that means that there's going to be one more round in the barrel. It's not going to be in the magazine. It's going to be fed into the, the chamber of the weapon, so it's be ready to fire again. And how was that gun when you found it on October? Well, I guess it was into the early morning hours of October 13th of 2012. If you look at the picture, um, you can see if the slide is forward, if I may. Yes. This is considered the hammer. This is the striking mechanism that hits the firing pin. So and if you look in the picture, it's back, just like this is right here. And what does that mean? That means it's ready to fire again. So the bullet that's also contained in that box was chambered and ready, and it was... Ready to be fired again. Ready to be fired. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So all of the projectiles that were contained in that magazine were not expelled. The person shooting that gun, in this case, for your own admission, the defendant, stopped with one gun, even though it was... What do they call it? Cocked and locked? Ready to go? Ready to fire? Locked and cocked, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, they got that wrong, that's, right? That's, yes, <laughs> Reverse that. Yes. yes, that means that this bullet was in this chamber right here, and the slide okay. was forward. This is the slide, which means the gun is cocked and ready to fire again. One of the things that we talked about is with Ms. Huber's, um, in her statement, saying, I'll use her words, thrown around the room like a rag doll, thrown into the bookcase. What was one of your concerns as an investigator when you see this scene? That there was nothing knocked down on the shelf. Nothing knocked down on the shelf when you first came? Correct. There was dust. Um, if you look up on top, there's a card. Um, there's items that could have been knocked Up here, it's like, yeah. a, like a birthday card yeah, or... Yeah, type of card. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And nothing at that point in time was out of place? No, ma'am.